this episode of Drinks Around the Table, I sit down with humor writer Julie Burton to discuss her methods of writing humor on social media, how Charles Barkley is included in her online humor origins, and how being honest in every post is what brings the fun. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? I am good. I'm pet sitting. So ah. if there are any farts that come out, it's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Rough Tail. Everything rhymes with orange IPA. Nice. All right. Yeah. So beer. Fair. Fair enough. All right. So... You, uh, you're in a world I don't know a lot about. So most of the questions I have or most of the conversational topics that I have, how did, okay, so you, what is it that you do? Um, right now, currently I work for Visit Overland Park and I run basically their digital content. Um, I just started like a couple weeks ago. So we're still kind of deciding what I'm doing there. <laughs> um, no, it's really fun. But also, I also write a lot. Um, and when people ask where, it's like, I don't know, magazines, like social media. Like, I just write everywhere. Like, just Google Julie Burton and it'll come up. <laughs> nice. Yeah, All right. right. So most, most of what I found, so you, you're, you're very clever. You're very, you've got quick wit. Um, <laughs> Thank you. How did, so you started with a blog, right? Right. How did right. that, take me down that road. <laughs> um, okay. So I started with a blog about, so my little one was, I just, she was tiny. Um, so 12 years ago. Um, and back then, like scrapbooking was a big thing back then. And I didn't have the money or the time to scrapbook. So I just, I'm like, Oh, I'll open up a blog and start blogging. And I just wrote to my girlfriends, basically like no one, I wasn't looking to like make money off it or anything. Um, so I was just a stay at home mom and doing that for a couple of years when my oldest hits kindergarten. Um, if you're familiar with Kansas day in January, uh, most of the schools here will color like the state animal and like the state flower, like sunflower. And sometimes schools will ask them to color a Jayhawk because if you're born in Kansas, you're called a Jayhawker. Um, so MS teacher gave her this sheet of paper of the KU's mascot Jayhawk, which is different than historically. Um, Emma, all she saw was KU and she's like, I'm not coloring that. And so she had this, she, it blew up. Like she got a lot of trouble with, well, with the teacher. Um, basically I wrote about that whole thing and how she's a K-State fan and we're a K-State family. Um, that went completely viral, like ESPN, like Charles Barkley was like talking about her on ESPN. Wow. Like all these like stadiums were chanting for her. Like we were on, um, we were at the halftime show for the KU K-State basketball game, which was like honoring Emma, which is crazy. <laughs> um, that's how like big it got. This is like in 2012. Um, so after that, I realized, oh shit, like I have an audience. So I started like each post would be like um, have a purpose to it or because I knew people were actually reading this um, and since then like it's just I've always just kept going like with this blog and it's kind of turned into like more social media now um, okay. yeah that's that's the quick story wow now that's that's an interesting origin yeah, I yeah. Mean, particularly you got Barkley involved in there so yeah I know wow yeah. I that's... printed out like everything that was like uh, yeah like Eric Stone Street started following me like, it was crazy wow yeah that's wild. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a big start. All right. So that spins into now you live more. I mean, most, you still have the blog or is it mostly you live with Twitter? Um, and... there's a blog there. I haven't updated in a long time. No one wants to click onto blogs, like off social media. They want right. to read it right there. Yeah. So um, I kind of, it's, it's still there. It's just not updated a lot. Right. Yeah, that's true. That blogs are it's changed blogging the blogging world's changed since then so i've kind of had to adapt to that right uh, yeah so how did the transition go i mean particularly on twitter to go from being able to be funny in an entire blog to i mean at one point what 120 characters what like i mean i know it's more now but yeah was it was it tough to transition or, or did it tighten up the humor to go from like you gotta be quick yeah, I think I was always on Twitter and I knew you had to like write things really fast. Um, 
it did teach me a lot as a writer to really like narrow down. It's really hard to make someone laugh like in, in a sentence. Like right. you have one sentence basically make someone laugh. Right. Uh, and it's incredibly challenging. People think it's so easy. It's really not. Um, yeah. So it, it, as a writer, I did to like really like tighten everything down and say which, which word is the most important. So I like to get up, get on there. Get your right. point well, yeah, yeah, to be to not only have it be funny, but it still has to make sense to be funny. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you got to yeah. watch which words you cut out and which ones uh, make sense. How often do you I mean, I, I scrolled a little bit, but I didn't notice how often do you put like do you do you have like a set time where, OK, I've got to put something out now or is it just whenever something funny hits you? Um, As far as Twitter or just across all my social across media? Across all the social. Yeah. Um, as far as Twitter, Twitter is actually like my test, my test market, I guess I'll test a joke out there. And I'll see how it does. And if it does well, I'm like, oh, okay. So I'll screenshot it, make a meme and then put it on Facebook and Instagram. Um, as far as timing, I try and post at least once a day on Instagram. Um, I feel like they reward you for being consistent. It doesn't matter right. how many times a day you post as long as you're consistent. Yep. Um, so I post once a day on, on Instagram and then a couple times a day on Facebook, um, yeah, it's just really like what I share a lot. I retweet and I share a lot of things, but yeah, it's just, it's my I'm living my life as you as I'm like sharing things. So right. yeah, it's whatever happens that day. Yeah, well, I try and do something every day. Yeah, I was good. So, and it, but it sounds like because so, I was going to ask, did you with the blog? Did it start? Because it seems like you. I mean, you've got lots of material with your mm-hmm. kids in particular. But, yeah, and I was gonna ask if that like what before you had kids, but it sounds like out the gate it was with <laughs> your kids. Like that's yeah. Where your humor I mean, was I got living. married at twenty two, and then I had Emma at twenty three. So like, I really didn't have like a cool twenties. Like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I went right like right into like college to motherhood. Like that was basically it. So um, that's really the only life I've known as far as a uh, career wise. Um, and now it's interesting. I've had to, and some people ask me about this because I've had to switch it. I can't make as many jokes about my kids because their friends read it. Yeah. Um, I had to consider, okay, would I make fun of Emma or Kate if I read this? Like if I was like their, you know, or right. even like an acquaintance. So I really had to think about that. I had to be careful about their privacy um, at, at their age now. Um, and that's a little bit hard, but they're kind of used to me writing about them. So that I'm lucky that they do allow me to write, you know, as I please, basically. I'm, I know pretty much where their like lines are. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, I mean, cause do you, I mean, it's mostly your kids, but do you like when you have, so for instance, with my wife, when we, when we have something that happens in real life, we'll say to the other, you're, you're going to, this is funny. You're going to put this up, aren't you? Like, so do you have people in your life that whenever you're just having a conversation they realize, oh wow, I just I just gave you your next post, didn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, people realize that. Like, are you gonna write about this? Um, I'm really good about, especially like with my kids too, and with adults, I'm good about getting people's permission. I don't, I would never like post is someone else's story or you know someone embarrass anyone. I would never do that. Yeah. Um, if I have any question about it, I'll just ask. I'm like, can I put this up? Um, okay. That's why I feel like it's mostly about me. I'm really good at making fun of myself um which works out sure in writing jokes yeah true um let's see what so i mean did you where do i want to go next with this i mean you had to have been funny before you had kids like you just didn't like it's not like you had kids and then oh now i'm funny like yeah. did you just never capitalize on it prior to the Um, blog actually so i'm very shy in person and it's funny if you look on people's comments like my old like people i went to high school with they will tell me like oh my gosh were you this funny in high school like they had no idea people in college like were you this funny um that's everything i write is everything that i think so and i i would for like 90 percent of the time never say the stuff that i write like out loud um yeah i just it's really like what's going on in my head and i'm really good at hearing that voice and usually I have to do if I had to do an assignment and write a big piece I'll usually take a shower drive or just take a walk that's why I can hear my voice like talking to me and I can I can 
get the flow of it, get the flow of writing. Okay. Where I go with that. Okay, I understand that. Um, yeah, I'm completely different <laughs> person. Like, I think people think I'm really extroverted, and um, I'm not. I'm like the complete opposite. Well, I mean, that's like fairly that. common too. I mean, I know, I know, I know stand-ups. I know like yeah, performers like just across the board. Yeah, that like yeah. they they do their art here, you know, in whatever the forum is. And people think that's them all the time. And then yeah, yeah you get them away from that forum. And yeah. a lot of the times they are, they're shy or they're not. That articulation comes from like, you know, it's it's the machine. It's the like I've uh -huh. I've measured what, you know, what's gonna be funny or what's gonna work or what have you. And then yeah. so yeah, it's not always sometimes it is. And maybe it is, I mean, well, it sounds like you are. Yeah, it's the same way where it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm funny, but you may not see it in person. Yeah, I've always been funny in my head, I think. Um, and that's just my personality, I think. Um, yeah, that people are just, like, oh my gosh, you're really quiet. I'm like, well, yeah, like that's not like the real me out there. Right, I right. Mean, it isn't. Um, yeah, that and people are shocked that I'm tall. I'm really tall. Oh yeah, how tall are yeah. you? I'm 5'10 without shoes on. Okay. Uh, so now I wear heels on like six foot and people are like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tall for a woman. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Um, do you, I mean, are you, is this where you live with it or do you have, are you, would you ever do like stand up or write screenplays or, I mean, are you just, this is, this is home for you, social media, like influencer. Yeah, this is where I'm most comfortable is writing um, like behind the scenes or you can't really see, you know, my face. Um, yeah, and I've gotten better at Instagram stories at like just talking to my camera. And that was kind of a personal goal for myself because when I first started doing that, I don't know, sometimes you can hear like, you know, when your voice shakes and you can't help it when you're oh, talking, yeah. it would do that like so much. And I, I couldn't control, I couldn't control the voice to stop, even though I was by myself, like with a phone. Um, so I've gotten a lot better with that in talking to a camera. Yeah. Um, well, it's weird. That was kind of my personal goal, like, I just stop the, sh the shaky voice. I guess. Yeah. Um, I still get the shaky voice. Like, a, like I did a, a keynote speech for Creative Mornings in 2019 in May um, at the Kansas City Public Library uh, or on the plaza. Yeah. Um, I mean, that kind of stuff's kind of nerve wracking for me as I'm not a public speaker, but I, I guess when I prepare for it, I'm okay. I can do it because I have like slides and I just put a bunch of memes up there. I'm like, here, laugh. <laughs> yeah, um, I get that. I think I, my signature is I'm really, well, I make fun of myself, but I'm really um, honest and about real life. Um, I don't know. I don't sugarcoat like anything. All, all my pictures are, if it's a pretty picture, read the caption, something will ruin the picture. <laughs> 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 not ruin it, but you know, just be very right. real. Right, yeah, it'll it'll shift the maybe yeah. the angle, perceived angle. Well, yeah. so okay, does that? I mean, I didn't I didn't do a super deep dive. Do you? I mean, humor is where you live mostly, but is it? Uh -huh. I mean, so you have posts where you more don't serious shoot for humor. Um. Yeah. Usually, it's like it's usually a personal story, like going through a divorce. Um when my grandma's died like stuff like that I'll be serious because you can't really I'll be light-hearted about so like maybe a sentence in there but um it's I mean those kind of topic topics you can't be funny yeah um, but I still want to be real and show like the pain and all that um people relate to that especially divorced people they just like every time I talk about it I get so many like messages um no one talks about divorce like I every time I hear about someone getting divorced you don't see it on social media like, you just kind of word of mouth makes out their divorce right uh, like no one says you know we're getting divorced like on social media but I did I did do that and I wrote about it um yeah so that's yeah I do have to be serious I think that just comes with writing so much right um I yeah, I write every day so I mean does for instance going public with a divorce is that was it like cathartic was it just something you had to do to to feel better which obviously is what cathartic means but <laughs> um yeah it's always yeah it is and I think I feel like I had such a big following I have to say something about 
you know, you won't see Scott anymore, basically. Um, but yeah, it makes me feel better. It makes me organize my thoughts and I just am brave enough to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> this thing. Um, cause it takes like, I do get criticism. I do get like, with a divorce post i did lose like thousands of followers like people don't like the people don't like talk about it um and i think it just triggers it for for them it's not necessarily they're mad about me or scott or like anything i think that just makes them uncomfortable yeah. for their own marriage maybe i don't know i'm just guessing. well and you're also in i mean i could see be perceived as an entertainer and so some people just get like no nah, you're dance monkey like i don't care about yeah. this like make me laugh Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I do, there's a lot of humor on my page, but there are some serious posts on there. Yeah. Um, especially as my kids get older, I feel like I can't, I don't know. It's more, it's sad. It's like, they're going to be going to college and yeah. I'm going to be like a nester already at like 40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No. And that's, well, and I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you've got some gems particularly with your daughter that were funny. <laughs> I mean, well, and I mean, I don't have any ch children, but I've got nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and watching my sisters navigate the same, they're roughly the same age, navigate those same waters. It's like, wow, that's, it's not relatable to me, but by proxy it is like, I get, yeah. I get that headspace. Um, Four-year-olds are my, by far my favorite. Like they say the funniest stuff. Like I wish, and I think I, on my blog, I used to have a thing called OMA oh, okay. And I would just, and I recommend every parent do this when they start talking, open up your phone, get a piece of paper, write it all down. Cause you will forget it years. You will forget it that day. Yeah. Um, what they say, you'll remember at night, like, Oh, what they say something really funny. I can't remember. You have to write it down as soon as they say it. And I got really good at that. So I had this huge, like blogs, and blogs of blogs of just things they said, like it, when they're like toddlers up to, you know, now. And more of that now is like, oh, that's like a Facebook post is something that they say. Um, yeah, it, I recommend every parent do that. Write down what your kids say. They're so funny. <laughs> Particularly at four. That's funny. Um, let's see. I had something and I was going to double back to it and I lost it. What man, I really lost it. Jeez. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else people ask me. Um, I do feel like I'm a little bit different. I I'm a young mom and mm. I feel like that's that was really hard too. Um I think that's part of the reason I did start a blog. It's just no one understood. There's only very few friends that had kids with me um at my age. So, but now it's kind of paying off because now my friends my age are having like toddlers, like little kids and now I'm like I'm almost done like I'm out yeah <laughs> I, can back, I can go back to the bars and like relive my 20s not not quite but um I have a little more freedom I guess is what yeah. I enjoy at this age right now um versus having it in my 20s right I mean I get that I I've got as uh, my youngest sister did that like she their game plan they got married young and they were like okay we're gonna have kids early so that we yeah. can enjoy our 40s like our our you know yeah. the reverse of what a lot of people do where it's you know my party like crazy in my 20s and then i'll get married then i'll have kids and then you know by the time they're out of the house i'm old yeah. and don't want to do anything but tend my yard so i get yeah. that mentality like yeah i mean and i think they both honestly suck like <laughs> yeah no matter what parenting kind of sucks um <laughs> i mean i love my kids but sure yeah like, yeah, I lost all my 20. I lost all that. I lost like dating around. I lost everything you can like, you know, everything you have in their twenties, but now I'm having more freedom. It's just a payoff. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's a payoff. No, I mean, I would get that. Yeah. When, but I mean, I don't know. I, it seems like your route is better in the sense that when you're in your twenties, typically you you don't you don't have it together certainly not financially and yeah. so like being able to have that freedom when you are also financially free mm -hmm. I mean that seems pretty cool broadens yeah. the horizons I mean we were poor like <laughs> we had the kids but it just proves you can like you can raise kids without you don't need a lot of money to raise kids yeah. um yeah we did it it was just 
Yeah. And I did it before screens. Like when my kids were taught, that's another thing. Like I didn't get to give them like a iPad or my phone. Like they would just scream in the back and you had to listen to it. Like there's just no, <laughs> there's no screens, uh, especially on the airplane. I noticed like a lot of moms will give them like a screen to watch. Like we didn't have that, like snacks and prayers. Is all, I had. <laughs> all right. So have you ever had, have you ever had a, a joke or a, a funny situation go bad, like where, where people were like, I don't, either I don't get this, I don't like this, like the, the trolls came out like for trolls it. Trolls and haters? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have one. Um, and I just reposted actually uh, a couple days ago. Um, but it says, just show me the recipe food bloggers. Because, no, you know, they that's just, so they, true, though. Like, yeah. So the recipe, man, come on. Like, I can't. Yeah. You're, I'm burning the kitchen down, like scroll, scroll, scroll. Right. Um, I got, so that's, I mean, it's funny and it's true, but um, I, I am on a lot of food blogger shit lists. I know there's like Facebook groups of just food bloggers that will talk. Yeah. Like people who are in there, like, Julie, you are not liked, like in the food blogger world. I'm like, it's funny. Like, I know they do it for SEO and they do it. You have to put a certain amount of words on a web. I, I get that. Right. But come on. Like, you have to laugh. Yeah. And I think now when I wrote it a couple of years ago, it's like now they have a click to recipe now, I think. Go to recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Which um, so is the greatest. Hopefully I, it was because of me, but. Yeah. You, you <laughs> influence <welcome>. that. <laughs> yeah. And that's another, you'll see like, um, I wrote that like years ago and you'll see other like jokes and that the same, making the same joke just in a different way. Um, and like people will screenshot it to me. I'm like, I know I'm like the OG, but <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like I own, I own that particular joke. So it's just funny to see that. Yeah. See the, take that. No, it right. is. I mean, yeah. I mean, cause I've seen, I've seen the meme of like, you know, so yeah, I mean, the, yeah, variations of the joke are out there, but still to be an, an early adopter, yeah. as it were, <laughs> that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. What? So did you ever have anything that you shared just because you thought it was funny that, I mean, well, obviously the KU story you thought was funny yeah. and it blew up, but if you have, have yeah. you had any others like that where it was just a, I find this funny, I'm going to throw it out there and then it took off. Uh, like, yeah, I've had a couple of viral things. Um, I think one of my biggest ones was, um, hi, my daughter's going to be late to school because she has a bump in her sock. <laughs> like or and then I wrote another one I kind of went off that like hi my daughter's gonna be late to school because she can zip a jacket by herself like you, you could just you see the joke in there and like that those always do like really well for me um yeah there's a couple I can't I have a handful of a lot that have gone like you wrote today show I'm sure and BuzzFeed will feature it and like it's just uh and it's it's weird like sometimes I'll write something that I think is hilarious it's just like dead, like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll try and post everywhere. Like everyone's like, no, <laughs> it's not working. So, for me. Um, and then some things I'll write. I'm like, it goes, blows up. Like, like the food blogger, it like blew up. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell people's um, yeah, what's funny and what's not. But right. yeah, that's all the food blogger one's the only when I get actual like trolls on where they like, are out to get me. That's um, insane, man. Who knew they were so uh, yeah, they're put mean. together and coming at you. That's crazy. I wrote another one about fashion bloggers, something like, just will you pour Merlot on your rug and clean that up? Like, be normal. Like, show me your house. <laughs> like, show me your kid having a meltdown at Whole Foods, please. Right. I can't, I can't do the, the pretty yeah. picture. You make me feel bad. Yeah. Um, let, let me relate with you. Yeah. Yeah. And so that one actually, I thought I'd get crap for that, but I actually didn't. Some of them were like, do, do people really want to see real life? I'm like, yes. Show them something. Like, don't be a magazine. Like, just come on. You make, I just feel, I just feel like I can't even follow those accounts because eventually like you see it so much. I just feel, start to feel bad that my living room doesn't look that good or like, oh my gosh, I need this in my living room. I need, I need to get this, this clothes. Like it just makes me feel bad. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why do that to yourself? Well, yeah, I, mean, I imagine the, the fashion industry is kind of used to people coming at them. Evidently food bloggers were not. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So where, okay. How much how much humor do you consume? Like what's, are you, are you a big fan of comedies or are you, is it a weird fluke where you're one of those people that are funny that, you know, just like French noir films and don't really pay attention to anything but the nightly news? Yeah. Um, 
that's not I don't really watch TV at all. I just watch sports. Like okay. that's the only reason I have TV is to watch sports. Um, sure. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not a movie watcher. People are shocked to find out I've never seen Goonies. Um, wow. My husband right now is trying to catch me up on like movies that I've missed in the 80s and 90s. Um, so yeah, I don't really watch TV or movies. I read a lot, but not necessarily humor. Yeah. I think honestly, it's just growing up. I have a really funny dad. He's extroverted and just super witty. And then my mom can write really well. Um, she's funny when she writes. So I think it's kind of a blend of that, just like how I am. And growing up with three siblings. Um, well, yeah, that comes with its own comedy yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no, I mean, so just familial influences then. Like you don't have any, there's no stand-ups that you consider an influence or no, I mean... Um, anything like that no I mean I'll watch stand-up sometimes like on HBO or whatever but um it's kind of rare it's usually with my boyfriend or something but yeah no I don't know I don't know just I think it's just it's kind of like Seinfeld where isn't it like a show about nothing right like that's kind of like what I am I just write about my life as it happens um yeah like it's you just have to find the humor and just be honest about it and that's how I do it yeah well it seems to be working yeah um, I'm trying to think like yeah there's things I have in drafts too like in my Twitter that like I'm like eh, should I tweet it or should I not like I don't know well so do you have any books anything like anything in in the one of these days files or um, I mean, so I'm in three anthologies okay. which is you know every chapter is a different author sure um, two of those are the New York Times bestsellers and but as far as like me writing a book, I mean, it's always like a dream of mine. Um, I'd have to figure out, I've never written fiction, so I don't even know if I can do that. Yeah. I'd have to, I don't know. It'd be different. But yeah, I don't know. I'd have to figure out. Book writing is like, it's mostly marketing, honestly. Like, and you have to market yourself. Um, Certainly yeah. do if you, if you self-publish. Yeah, you, uh, without that machine of a publishing company behind you or house behind yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and there's so many talented people out there. Like, it's just, it's hard. Um, but yeah, I think a book would be fun. Um, even if I took my blog and made it like into a book somehow, yeah. um, reread it like from, you know, when Kate was first a baby to like now, like, I think that'd be cool. Um, uh, I picked like the best pieces. Um, I'm trying to think what else has done really well. Uh, I think the honesty, I think I'm one of the few parents that actually write about teenagers too. Like that's a really hard like divorce like teenagers are they don't want their friends to see they don't want to be embarrassed right. they don't want to freeze up so and I do do some of that um because my kids let me yeah I think that's refreshing for a lot of parents who have teenagers it's it's super hard it's hard having teenagers um they're like toddlers with hormones that's how I describe them it's a rough combo yeah 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 rough combo we are running out of time here where can everybody find you um so i'm ksu julie like everywhere on twitter um uh, no julie burton writer on facebook and then ksu julie on instagram ksu julie um, i put all that and then K everyone's like why if you're not in college i'm like it's kind of a nod to how i got started right like, yeah no it makes so total sense and everyone's like well you should change your handle I'm like no, it's like how I got started writing. So well, keep well then you, that's branding too. Like, why would yeah. you ditch that brand? Like, yeah, no, I get yeah. it completely. That makes total sense. K-State loves it. Like, <laughs> they got <laughs> <me> back. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll put all that down below and have everybody look for you. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for having a drink with me. Yeah, you're welcome. Cheers. See you next time. Bye. And that wraps up our visit. Remember, if you'd like to get together for a drink, just reach out. We'll put something on the books. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe. Do all the things down below. Till next time.